Swiss Chalet. Nothing else is Swiss. Oh, we're hanging out at Dogtopia this morning. It's a doggy daycare. It's also a boarding facility. It's also just a place where dogs can have fun and get groomed. Uh, so I am here with Anita, and we are taking a look at food. And this is a big job that Jesse has because he's responsible for feeding all the dogs. Yeah. Certain dogs eat uh, certain diets and medications, and you, you can prepare anything. Anything. Yeah. So what are we doing this morning? So what we're doing right now is we're preparing lunches. Um, so as you can see, Jesse actually is, some owners will provide us with food so that we can accommodate anything, anything from raw to eggs, chicken and rice. Some Let's dogs. see, I dropped my dog off and I forgot my food. No problem. We got you, you got covered. Okay. Yep, we do. We have our own house brand here. We use Royal Canin. Okay. Um, so if someone forgets, then we've got it covered. You got it covered. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what's this here? So we have a program called Lunchtime Fun mm -hmm. and these are puzzles. So what we do is we put treats in here and during the rest break um, between 12 and 2 we can accommodate these puzzles right in the crates with the dogs and they have to try and figure out how to get to the get to the treats. It like, takes them a while. This is like a daycare for children it because is. The, yeah. the, this and these dogs are like children. Absolutely. You know? They are. They're fur babies. <laughs> like they have activity programs. Okay, so I love this. So this is a puzzle. You'll put the little pieces in here. The dogs yeah. need to figure it out and they That's figure right. it out. They do. They, they figure do. it out. Eventually. It. Sometimes it takes them longer than one take longer than the others, but eventually they figure it out. Jesse, how long does it take you to prepare all these meals? Uh, it takes quite a while because there's quite a few some days, but it's uh, it's pretty good. It's a big job. Yeah. Uh, okay, now for for you, what what food do you, would you recommend? My personal opinion. Your personal opinion. I really like raw food. You do. That's what my dog does really well on. Just has okay. shiny coat. Full, raw full food coat. with vegetables. And I buy the ones I don't. I don't have a lot of time to prepare my own, so I buy it from any pet specialty store, Pet Value, Global. But you could make your own you if could. you have the time. You Lots of owners do. Yes. What do you have here? So I was just going to show you. This is how we keep track of our feeding. Yeah. So this is a program that we use for feeding schedules to make sure that we're always accurate. And this information actually gets emailed to our pet parents if they would like. So they can, if they're boarding with us, they can see exactly if their dog ate, how much did they eat, if they even pooped and peed, if they had medications. We update that as well. So. <laughs> We're very, you know, we want to make sure that this is very important. So Do Dr. Bryce Weil just did a segment on our stools, you know, on human. Maybe we should look at the dog stools and maybe we can find out a lot about what the dogs are so eating. So actually, you know what, you say that, but this yeah. is hilarious. We actually have over here a poop fridge. You have a poop fridge? We have a poop fridge in case a dog poops something that needs to go to the vet. We will keep it for the pet You parent. keep the poop? Oh my God. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bryce Weil would be so <laughs> impressed. They have a poop fridge. It's right there. Yep. I'm looking at the poop fridge. When we come back, we are going in the doggy gym. Uh, we're going to go in there right now so they settle down, so they yes. get used to us. So we're going in. We'll see you guys in there when we come back at Dogtopia. I'm going to go look in the poop fridge. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs>